y'all, it's Tammy with Collar Belly Cooks. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious beef shank. We got two pretty ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put some kosher salt on them first. Uh, before you sear your meat, go ahead and make sure that it's been sitting out at least an hour so that it gets close to room temperature. Now beef shank's not always available at your grocer. We uh, shop at Ingles and they have them um, quite a bit and so does Food Depot. So if you see some, try to pick them up. Now these are beautiful ones. They're nice and big. Lots of times when you get them, they hardly have any meat on them. So, I mean, I wouldn't waste my money on them unless they look pretty and they got a lot of meat on them. Just wait until they get some that's worth, you know, your time and effort, okay? So we are going to let this heat up and we're gonna sear these on both sides. And put a little olive oil down in our pot. And it's easier just to go ahead and sear them in the pot you're gonna make them in. I'm gonna do, it, do them separate. So I'll do one and then I'll do the next one. So we're gonna let this sit in here and get nice and brown. It'll take a few minutes and it needs to be up on a high heat. Okay, since that one bulged out, it's keeping it from getting seared real good and uh, real good. I'm gonna take this fat band and I'm gonna cut it in half so that the meat can lay down on the bottom of the pan while it's searing. I'll go ahead and, and let this one be browning on the side while that one lays flat on the bottom. Get it over. Now, you are going to take some fresh rosemary, some sage, we have it growing out in the yard, which is nice. I've got some garlic and I'm just gonna slice it through a little bit. I have, I have peeled and chopped, large chop, uh, carrot. The same goes for my onion. Now we also have a red bell pepper. We like the taste of the red and some celery. Make sure you wash and clean your vegetables and get them prepped and ready so that um, you're going to make this beef shank taste unbelievable. So this is our rosemary and garlic. to cover it with water. I'm going to bring it over to the sink. I have a stainless steel sink so I can put it on my sink. Oh, it smells so good. That rosemary and that sage will make all the difference in the world. So if you can get some fresh, if you don't grow it, try to get some at the grocery store. And if you can't, that's fine too. But it does smell so good in here. You can substitute, you know, one of them for another herb if you've got it. We're gonna cover this good with water. Put it back on the stove. And we are going to simmer this all day. I'm gonna put a nice lid on it. Okay, so we've got it covered with water. We put, got it on an eye. It is on a, a lower medium. You're not gonna wanna turn it up high. You never wanna cook any kind of beef at a high temperature quick where it makes it tough. Slow is slow and low, it makes it taste the best, okay? So put this on the stove and we're gonna let it simmer in here for a couple of hours and we're gonna put the lid on it. We've got a good bit of broth. So I'm gonna save the good stuff in here. Okay and add it to um, this a little lighter because I want the carrots and the onion. And we're gonna pour this broth over into here. And we're gonna cook this down until it reduces down and makes a gravy. Okay, 
we're going to leave that on about medium until it reduces. All right, you can see we're boiling it good. And we're going to cook it like this until it's completely reduced and there's just a nice gravy left in the bottom of the pot. Okay, after it's cooked all the way down, you're going to flip it over. You can see that nice glaze on the bottom of the pan. We're going to add the rest of the broth and do the same thing for this side of the shank as well. You can go ahead and add the rest of your vegetables in here as well. Okay, you can see the shank and how delicious it looks and how caramelized that is in the bottom. It's all to pieces. That's the way we like it. Got a couple of nice bones for your dogs in here too. And we'll turn it off before it gets too brown. But you can see in the bottom how nice it looks. So, put some on the plate for you. All right, let's give it a taste. You can see that it's falling apart done. Mmm, -hmm. delish. My best friend and her daughter were here for supper. They've already ate supper. The shank came off the uh, stove and they could not keep their hands out of it. They loved it. They said, oh my goodness. Why did we eat the other stuff instead of waiting on this? They ate the whole plate, though, and then they got so full they were almost sick. <laughs> Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.